Okay, so good morning. Please, could you introduce yourself? Good morning. My name is Oke Esse. I'm a Nigerian and I'm an entrepreneur. Okay, so um, what did you come to Jitex to display? Um, we've been here to showcase our products. It's a Nigerian-made clean cook stove that also serves generous electricity. So what this thing means is that for a household that have energy problem, whether for cooking or lighting, we give them access to use one single product to solve this energy problem. So our product allows women to cook, save money, have access to electricity, and paid for cooking. And how do we do it? We allow our product to track the amount of carbon emissions they are saving and we monetize it to European countries in US dollars or euros and pay our women. In that way, they can be improved in livelihood and also um, be able to take care of their family. That's amazing. So when did you start this invention? Um, we started like uh, um, a little above two years ago. Uh, but this year has been an amazing year despite the COVID challenge. Um, we've been able to pivot our marketing strategy because we discovered that uh, families now priorities are on health and feeding. So we provided our product to allow them to save money instead of using charcoal, kerosene or firewood. They are using a pellet, saving 80% of it, and uh, be able to save more money. So this year has been an amazing year for us. Okay, so what inspired this innovation? Okay, um, coming from a Nigerian background, uh, I grew up in a village. So cooking with firewood was the only option. So, and uh, I disliked it, but there was nothing I could do. Uh, so uh, growing up, I've been having this desire, how can I change it? So I went to university, studied physics, and I discovered that uh, with my physics experience, I can be able to improve the efficiency. And while doing it, we said, okay, why not let's see how we can convert the heat to electricity? So I brought my experience in the university days. Uh, with the help of my team, we developed this product. Fantastic. So, yeah. so far, you've been doing this for about two years now. Yeah. What are some of your huge challenges? And if you've overcome any, can you share some of those challenges you've overcome? And the ones that you're still looking forward to, you know, getting help with overcoming? Um, our greatest challenge was uh, electricity. Because we are a core manufacturing company, so electricity demand is very paramount. And uh, we couldn't wait for government. Uh, so as, as a startup, we also need to see how you can solve social problems. So what we did was uh, we had to rely on diesel generators and also solar power systems to power our factories. Um, that's how we over overcame that. And another challenge which we overcame was uh, managing unskilled workforce. Uh, we have a, lot, a, a whole lot of um, uh, pool of unskilled workforce. So uh, you, are, you are not sure guaranteed of them coming the following day. So what we did was that we had to create an incentive program that tells them that the more you appear for work and complete your tax, uh, the more benefits you get. So it becomes a reward system for them. Uh, we, we use that and we're able to keep 95% of our skilled workforce um, in the factory. Uh, that, that's the two challenges and uh, that's how we overcame them. So going forward, what do you see? Uh, what, what are your projections for this innovation? Okay, our projections are we, we have a roadmap that uh, by Q1 2021, uh, that's between G January and March, we should be able to be in two countries. Um, we've signed contract with uh, Startup World uh, to take our product uh, in Madagascar with the help of the Madagascar government. They are buying 5,000 units of it to solve energy problem in Madagascar. Um, in January also, we are hoping that uh, they open the borders in Nigeria, then we are going to export to Ghana. So by next year, we are seeing ourselves growing outside Nigeria. Uh, that, that's what we hope to achieve. So, so far, so good. I like that, you know, you've been able to export this outside of Nigeria. But what is the responses like in Nigeria? Okay, um, when we started, uh, the responses were encouraging uh, because uh, most homegrown uh, technologies uh, have that problem. But consistency and innovation um, puts us at the, at the front burner. So uh, uh, over time, people beca be began to trust our technology, especially when they discovered that we have one year replacement warranty. So if you buy a product within less than a year, 
uh, you have issues, bring it to us, we'll replace it. We are not going to speak any grammar. Um, so that shows the confidence and trust in our technology. So people started buying it. Yeah. Okay, so is this your first time in Jitex? Yeah, this is my first time in Jitex. So what would you say? What has your experience been so far? Um, experience yesterday was an amazing day. Um, we had a partnership with uh, a, a marketing firm that wants to take exclusivity of our product and sell it across Africa. So uh, we hope to sign contract with them today or tomorrow. And uh, when we see the terms of co uh, contract, we can be able to know how to move forward. Uh, we also saw people who want to also take it to India. And we have a lot of similarities in terms of population and electricity energy challenge. So um, we hope to take it uh, further with them in the discussion. Okay, so what would your advice be for startups like you, you know, who are innovative and trying to get um, um, out innovations like this, but are finding it difficult to locate sponsors or knowing how to go about it? What would your advice be to them? Uh, my advice uh, to them is they should understand that before you look for sponsors, you need to get your product right. You need to get your technology right. Um, it's like uh, putting the card before the horse. Before you look for sponsors or partners or investors, uh, make sure that you have a product market fit. Your product is what the market needs. Uh, so once you achieve that, then uh, like a honey to come, the investors or the partners will come. You know, so that's what I want to tell them. Let them not rush. Let them get their ass together, get their technology right. Then investor investment will come. Fantastic. Could you yeah. please show us a little demonstration of your... Okay. Um, this is what we call pellets. When wood pellet is 100% made from wood. Uh, in Nigeria has a lot of wood waste. So from the sawmill, we take it, we process it into different stages, like five different stages. Now when you take the pellet, you put it inside the burn chamber of the stove. So the, the amount you put here depends on what you want to cook. So you want to cook for two, three hours, you, you put more. Now you start the fire, you put your pot. Now when your pot start heating, uh, in this place is called burn chamber. The generator here will convert the heat to electricity. So the electricity comes out through this wire. Now you put your phone here, you charge. Now what we did, or we extended it, this is a battery bank, like what we call power, power bank. So when you plug it here, as you are cooking, it's charging this. Our advantage of power bank is that you can also use normal electricity to charge it. Like you can see, I'm using the electricity to charge it, or you can use our stove. Now, behind here, there are three wires connected to it. So what we are now giving household is that with this remote, with this remote, you can switch it on. You can reduce the luminance, increase the luminance, depending on what you want. You can off one. So we're giving them the opportunity to have light. Then another good thing is this IoT device. This IoT device is what allows us to track the emissions level, quantify it, and reward users for cooking. So this is our, all our products. So how do you then measure, for example, you said the more you want to cook, or depending on what you want to cook, Yes. how do you measure? Is there like a measurement to say, okay, I want to cook beans, for example, which you know takes a lot of yes. time, right? How do you know how many of these fossils you need to use? Okay, that's a good question. Uh, what, we, what we did was, uh, we've tried this over time. We've seen that a kg of pellets runs for two hours on the average. So if you look at, uh, you want to cook uh, uh, beans, for example, as you said, um, and it's going to last two hours, so you just use one kg. Um, how we bag this is, I will bag it in 10 kg, but inside the 10 kg, you see one kg each. So when you take a nylon of one kg, you already know it's two hours. So that helps them to, even for those who don't know the kg, we tell them to take a bag of it, that's two kg, um, two hours cooking. So it helps them to um, know quantity to use based on what they want to cook. So how much do you sell this now in Nigeria? Um, in local currency in Nigeria, um, the complete unit goes for 40,000 Naira. Now what we also did was we allowed them to purchase in part. In part means that you can decide to buy only this stove, which is at 28,000. Then over time, you can now come and buy this electricity kit. Then another thing we did was, okay, we allowed them to pay in installment. So installments, um, when you pay the down payment of 40%, which is now the same price you can buy your kerosene stove, then the 60% balance is spread across six months. Now, most of them opt for this option because it, go, it shows them that, okay, from the savings you get from buying this, this is the cheapest cooking fuel in Nigeria. 
So uh, from savings you get from this, you can offset the cost of the stove. So that's what we are, uh, we are doing for them now, to make sure that it's more affordable. So in this package, does this um, two pillets? Or yeah, pillets? Pillet. Yeah. Does it come with the package or is separate? Um, yes, uh, we just concluded the Abuja Trade Fair. In the Abuja Trade Fair, we allow them to also purchase the stove. It comes with 10 kg pillets oh, okay. as a promo pack. So that allows them to instantly, for some of them will say, okay, test it. Let me see how it works. So we pick from the uh, promo pack of pillet. We allow them to see it. We we'll show them how it runs. Yes. So um, from there, they can be able to understand that this is easy to use. So we are not uh, importing technology that is foreign. Everybody in Nigeria knows how to cook. We are just trying to make it fun, easy, and also fast. You know, that's what we are doing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you so much.